Hi, Fishing Outdoors here with you on a very cold December day with my second white fish of the day. We've got some ice shelves so I can use it as a workstation to get my fish unhooked and do a release. But yeah, second, two in a row, guys. They're all roughly the same size. I see a lot of action going on right here. A lot of rising fish. And we will uh, get this guy unhooked and we'll try to do a water release with for you so you can see what it's like. Get him up here on the ice. Check him out. Guys, this is an awesome fish. Stay tuned for the release. Here we go. Quite awesome, guys. Let's see if we can get some trout now. Stay tuned for some more action. It's on right now. Third drift, third white fish. There are lots of fish in this hole here. I hit a sweet spot. It's gonna be a great day of fishing. I'm gonna have a nice full-length video to put together for you guys, whether or not I'm getting some trout, who knows. But I'm telling you, it's cold, super cold, but these whitefish are hungry. Um, I've seen some rises, let's hope we can get them, but for now, we're gonna stick with these guys. Stay tuned, I'll get them unhooked for you right here. Another beautiful whitefish on a pink egg pattern, guys. He's got some beautiful rosy cheeks. Uh, and there he goes, nice easy release. Love it when I don't get my hands wet in this kind of weather. It's cold. <laughs> Stay tuned. Again, like I said, I knew there'd be more fish. These guys are fun to fight, man, I'm telling you. They're not the biggest, they're not the best. But I'll tell you, they're fun. It's nice to catch fish. And there we go, you can see them. Pretty. Pretty fish, that's for sure. Sorry about the camera work, guys. I don't have a mount. I've lost all the mounts with my GoPro, so I'm just doing some hand bomb shooting, getting you some content. Hot fish in the water. Pink egg pattern I like to tie up with some UV yarn. And keeps things nice and easy. Camera shot for you guys here. Oh, and there he goes, ungraceful release, but he's in the water, back in home nonetheless. <laughs> this is fun. Nice to catch fish. You know it's cold, kind of fun. I'm hooked up again. On to another hot white fish. They've got some spawning colors on, nice purple spawn colors. As you can see, look at this, guys. Hot fish. The water's cold. I'm standing right in it. I haven't moved yet and I've got about six fish on the day. So, we're gonna put him right here. I'll put the camera right here for you guys. For all the viewers at home who like to watch my shows. Put this guy in, there's a few of them. My hands are frozen, so we might need to warm up after this catch. And there we go, another white fish. Beautiful looking fish. This one's about 20 inches, 18 to 20 inches, probably about three pounds. We will put him back. Like so. And there he goes. Well, I guess it's a good time of any to do a uh, mid-video update. Uh, as you can see right behind me there, there's this bridge. A huge bucket underneath that bridge. Uh, I did pretty well there, about five or six white fish on my first two casts and then uh, a friend of mine actually pulled up you see him fishing way down there way down there he uh he's doing some spade casting swinging some streamers um i've seen some some big rainbows down there so hopefully he gets into those uh, i seen him the other day as well he pulled up in behind me so he's uh, becoming quite the friend of mine but um right here we got a big riffle with uh, really shallow water, but it gets pretty deep down there in the bucket as well. And there's a real big bucket and uh, back eddy on the other side of that island there. I'm gonna go across this riffle and hit up those spots. Hopefully we can get into some big bows or a couple of browns, those would be nice as well. But uh, I'm gonna be safe and cross this river with uh, caution. So remember to be always cautious and safe in the water, safety first, especially when wading a big river such as the bow. Um, I recommend studs on rubber boots, or I recommend felt sold waders that are really diligently taken care of to prevent whirling disease and rock snot and all that kind of stuff. So, uh, yeah, guys, 
stay tuned for some more action. Hopefully we can get some good shots and some good content for you. Hope you like what I've got already. Remember, if you haven't already, please like, comment, and subscribe down below. And uh, I'm pretty stoked to be getting this video out to you guys. Stay tuned for some more action. Tight lines. Well, that spot was a bust. Saw a few really big trout under some ice in that back eddy over there, but no luck. So what we're gonna do now is uh, pack it up. Had some fun, caught a few good fish. No trout today, but that's okay. Got some fish at least. Um, I'm gonna go help my buddy with his truck, work on it, and uh, that's my day. Guys, it's gonna get super cold. Um, it's gonna be the last week I have to fly fish until the spring. But I was expecting it sometime. I'm actually happy that it's now instead of in the earlier months, which is good. So remember guys, please like, comment, subscribe to uh, Frequent Fly Fishing Outdoors on YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook. So, tight lines everyone, catch you next time.